What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the problem, transform the expressions on Spaj. So basically you are given an algebraic expression of brackets and operands. The operands are plus, minus, multiplication, division, and power. And you're given brackets, right? And basically we need to transform this expression. I'll show you guys an example. So basically in the first example, A plus B times C, okay? And we want to transform this expression. So this output gives us a, b, c, multiply, and plus. And basically what this uh, output a, b, c is, they're just taking whatever value before. So like these, these letters that was given to us. And um, they take whichever, they print these out first, right, a, b, c. And then they print out the multiplication. So this op multiplication operand, and this is, uh, they put this one first because it's between these brackets, right? These parentheses. So they put this one first, uh, this multiplication, and then later on they put this one, the addition side afterwards. So that's what this expression gives us, okay? So now let's look at another one. The, the reason why they give us this first is because these uh, AB is first in the parentheses first, right? So we have this parentheses first, parentheses first. So that's why we have, they print out AB first. So that's what this AB goes here. Then after that, they have this plus operation. So that comes in in second, right? And then now we have to evaluate this parentheses, the next parentheses. So this next parentheses is uh, Z plus X. And the letters in this parentheses is Z, is Z and X. So we are going to print out Z and we're gonna print out X. Then later we're gonna print out this operand of plus. So it prints out this plus. And then finally we print out the actual multiplication because that's the final parentheses and the final one for having both of these. So that's what this does give us. That's what this gives us. It gives us AB plus ZX plus multiplication. Okay, I hope you guys understand the gist of this. Let's actually go over the final one, I think the final final one, uh, the final test case, which is, um, so what does this give us first? Um, so let's first look at the outer parentheses. So we have an outer parentheses here and this outer parentheses gives us this multiplication first. Um, but, uh, first of all, we have to evaluate left to right parentheses first. So let's look at the left parentheses. So the left parentheses, we have this left parentheses first. So let's actually do this, evaluate this first. So in order to do that, we're gonna print out the letters. So A, T, right? So these letters, A, T. And then we're gonna print out the operation of this that it has, so this is gonna be a plus. Then later on, what does it do? Uh, we have to do, evaluate the second operation, which is these parentheses. And um, these parentheses are B, A plus C, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna print out the letters that correspond to it. So first we're going to print out the letters A, B, C, and then we're going to put a plus sign, right? A, B, C, the plus sign for these operations. And then later on, we're going to have another plus sign because this plus sign is this one. This was a plus sign, right? Then we have another plus sign because we have two plus signs, right? So this plus sign was originally for this one, this plus sign. So now we're going to add another plus sign, right? Because that's two plus signs. So um, we have B plus plus, uh, B, A, C plus plus. And then later on, we need to f evaluate this parentheses and this parentheses is C, D plus, right? Because we have the letters first, we put display the letters and then the operation plus then, and then we need to have a caret sign. So we have to put a caret sign because after evaluating both of these operations, we have this one, this caret sign. So we have to put that at the end. Okay. So now we have B, A, C, plus, plus, C, D, plus, and then caret sign, because that's the final thing. And then now um, to top it all off, uh, we need to add the final sign, the final operand, which is this multiplication one right here. So we're gonna display that at the end. So in the end, we get A, T, plus, B, A, C, plus, plus, C, D, plus, carrot sign multiplication. So that's the end result and that's what they get here, right? 
So I hope you guys understand the gist, gist of this, and then I'm gonna explain how to do this problem. So the only thing you really need to know to do this problem is actually the stack data structure. So let's say we're going back to the original. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a stack. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to loop through this whole string. So there's a string, right? This is the input string. I'm gonna loop through this whole string. Okay, every time I see a operand, I'm gonna push it onto the stack. Okay, so every time I see a plus, multiplication, minus division, stuff like that, I'm gonna push it onto the stack. When I see end bracket right here, I'm going to pop the first part off of the top of the stack and I'm gonna add it to my answer, okay? So I'm gonna have an answer string that's gonna be the answer that I'm gonna return, right? So this answer is gonna initially be empty. Otherwise, any other ones, I all I have to do for that is I just have to add it to my answer. So let's actually go just go over a basic test case of how this would work. So if we read through this, um, we first see an open bracket and then we do nothing, right? Uh, we just break. We don't do anything, uh, nothing happens. Okay, we get to an A and this is not an operand. It's not any of these operands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to answer. So answer is going to become, that's the answer here. Answer is gonna become A, right? Now I'm going to get to the this operand. This is a plus sign. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to add it to my stack. So this to add it to the stack, I'll just add it to here. So I push this onto the stack. Okay. Now I get to this operand. This operand is a parentheses. Uh, I'm not going to do anything, right? Because it's a left parentheses, so I'm not doing anything. I just break. All right. Let's go to the next one. The B. This is a letter. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add it to my answer i'm just added to append to answer okay so my answer is a b and then i'm done with this now we are at the this operand okay whoops my bad we're at this operand multiplication this is an operand right this is a uh, multiplication so what i'm going to do i'm going to add it to my stack okay so my stack is multiplication now okay now now we are at c c is a letter so i'm going to add it to my answer and that would be that it. Now we are at the final operand of parentheses. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop from the stack and add it to my answer. So, cause if I pop from the stack, remember uh, every time we add an operand, we push it onto the stack. When we reach a closing parentheses, that means that we need to get whatever the closest operand that was just added before the parentheses, right? So that's why we use a stack because that the stack gets us the first closest, the last operand that was just added before the parentheses. So now when we have a parentheses, we just pop from the stack. So now the stack used to have a multiplication. Now it's gone. So now it's popped and we're going to add it to our answer. So that's this. Okay. And now we have the final one. There's that final parentheses. Now, because we have the final parentheses, we're going to pop from the stack and this is stack's not empty. So it's plus and we pop it. And we add it to our answer. So our and answer is going to be A, B, C, multiplica uh, multiplication plus. Okay, so that's basically the gist of how to do this problem. Um, I'm going to explain the code now to you guys and show how that works. So in this code, it's basically the exact same thing of how I explained it. Um, we first read in the test case of T, and that's just the number of test cases that we're reading. Then we read in our string, str, and that's just a string. We have an, a string answer that keeps track of the, with the current answer that we're adding, right? Um, then we, I have a stack. I call it F, but uh, this is just, F was just uh, quickest letter names, you know, to write. You call it S or whatever. Okay, now we're going to read it through all of our, read through all the letters in our string. So that's what this index does. This is looping through the string, Okay. Now I have a switch statement and this switch statement is just go through every single case by case of the letter. Okay. So if it is a left parentheses, I just break cause that doesn't matter, right? The left parentheses doesn't matter. Okay. So now these cases, uh, plus minus division, multiplication, exponential, right? All these cases all have the same result. And in these cases are all the operands for these. You just push it onto the stack. Like I showed you guys, right? For every any type of operand for these, we just push it on the stack. 
and I break because uh, for switch statements, if you don't break, it just goes on to the next case, right? And that's not a good idea. Okay, now at the closing parentheses, we get the, the top of the stack, right? And we add it to our answer. So we remove the top of the value of our stack and we add it to our answer. And then C++ uh, popping doesn't actually return the value. So yeah, I had to call top and then add it and then pop it. I don't know, that's just, that's just how C++ works. But anyway, basically we just remove from the top value, topmost value of the operand that was just added before the parentheses and we add it to our answer here. Okay, after that, I break because uh, if you don't use a break statement the, in C++, they would just go on to the next case regardless. So that's not a good idea. All right, default is when you have any letters that are possible. For those, you just add the add your answer to your string and then you break. Okay. Um, and then after that, I just print out my answer string, see out answer string. And that's pretty much the whole gist of the code. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.